Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kaiser Redux using the special Rotor Morgan submod in which right now we got some Fockers! Yes! Fockers! Good planes! Good, good planes! In which right now, uh, it's 41. Happy 1941 everyone. Um, and right now, as you can see, we're not the good old nice pink Germany we were last time. We've actually lost a lot of military factories. That's not good. Hmm, what are we going to do about that? Let's go down to 5, let's go down to 5, and let's go down to 10, I guess for now. Um, yeah, we got to make a lot more factories then. Ooh, that's really, 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 really not good. Uh, so yeah, basically, the last focus that we completed together uh, made it so that we lost, as someone did say in the last episode, uh, our unity. And now we've got a bunch of communes. The free communes of Central Europe, the South German Union, anarchist commune, okay? Uh, we also have the free communes of Central Europe, the free communes of Central Europe, the free communes of Central Europe, and the Polish Socialist State. As well as the Belgian Syndicate. But because of that, and we're currently doing the National Vox à Marine, um, I'm honestly not too worried about this just because I've already set us up to do pretty darn well. So the last focus we did was this one, the Anarchist Utopia, so it is what it is. I mean, someone did warn me about it, but I think we'll still do okay just because we have a million manpower, even though we're on extensive conscription. We're not mobilizing or demobilizing. Um, we already have a ton of really big divisions. 101 40 combat width divisions. We got 8 light tank divisions. So overall, this could be a lot worse. And we already built up a pretty good navy, so I'm not feeling too bad about it, even though it's just not great. <laughs> it's really not great. But the reason for that is that, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and just go to war with people. Look at this. It's beautiful, I know. And we got some comments to go through as well. So, it gives a few more days for us to basically... Actually, you guys stop training as well. Um, get more organization back, and we'll go straight into the Dutch lands. Oh, it's definitely lagging quite a little bit, so... Uh, let's see... Thank you. And let's call in our allies. And by allies, our communes. And we'll get these guys as a puppet as well, so... Ah, they call them Dutchies Indies, that's fine. Oh, you guys are going too. Don't want to forget about that area. Up next, then we'll go to war with someone else. Not really sure who yet, but we'll see. Oh, we have like four days of fuel left. That is so bad. You guys are really not doing that well, huh? Two days left of fuel, and one day's left. Uh, yeah, we really don't own a lot now anymore. Uh, do that by two, go down by two, and then you guys go right there too. Cool. We're going to have to import more fuel. Um, or we'll just build more. Oh, wow, look at that. Mm, Burma, thank you. You guys, thank you as well. Yeah, we literally don't even make any fuel naturally. Oh, this sucks. There you go, make some fuel that way. Maybe we can keep it up. Uh, oh, uh, even if we build it down here, it doesn't even mean anything. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. That's not going to be easy, is it? <laughs> no, it is not. No, it is not. We lost a lot of guys, but not too many, not too many. Nice, keep going, keep going. Uh, how strong are these guys? They're only infantry. More divisions, yes please, yes please. So we'll, so we'll see what happens. Uh, first comment, uh, someone recommends we do a Stalinist route using this submod. Eventually, yeah, we will probably. Um, I like the sub mod. This up, this this Rotor Morgan is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. So we'll get there eventually. We will. We will. We will. Uh, at this point, just go five. You got to go five for everything, pretty much. Two, and then five, just so we can share the wealth a little bit. Um, yeah, you guys go down. Got to go down too. We don't have enough resources now. Oh my goodness, this is uh, not great. <laughs> not great. Hey, but at least Dutchland's gone. Where can we get some more aluminum from? Anarchist Commune. Thank you. Rubber. None of our Anarchist Communes have it, so which kind of sucks. Oh, you got four down there. That's not really worth getting from you guys. Alright, not bad. Not great. But we can go to war anyways. Denmark next. Um, I wonder if tanks could just do it by themselves. I kind of doubt it. So after this, I think we'll maybe go to war with Lithuania? Maybe? We'll see. Uh, go offensive too. Valta Bachhorn. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. Get to where you need to go. Swiss, Denmark, Bohemia. So basically, this episode is the episode I've been waiting for just to kill off a lot of people. So we're not going to liberate them yet because I want to abuse their factories for as much as, for as long as we possibly can. Because we could, we really, really need them. So Another comment was, uh, this is the future the libs want. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Yes, very funny. Um, let's see. Denmark, Denmark. Yes, liberate the Danes. All in the name of liberation. It is 41. Let's grab some more construction speed. That'd be nice. 
Oh, maybe you guys can't win. Oh, we got color allies in too. That's fine. Do they attack us? No. Can we attack them? Can we do well with them? Ah, yes. It looks like for the most part, yeah. They do have some forts, it looks like. But National Books Marine followed up with the battleship focus. Uh, if you want to do that, please go right ahead. I'm going to go do the carrier focus because I like carriers. Our new navy will be centered around carrier task forces. Nice. Good. Keep rooming on in, guys. Keep going, going, going. Don't let them through. Don't let them through. Oh. Oh, yeah, we'll give extra ones. That's fine. Azerbaijan. Let's get some more fuel. Get some more fuel first. All right. Is Lithuania good to go? Oh, it'd be a piece of this one. Oh, that sucks. War propaganda. Uh, sure, why not? That sounds good with us. I'm going to make these guys bigger. Yeah, I don't want to do that one yet for the Dutch. Not yet. Not yet. 600 losses. Nice. Good. We're slowly winning here, too. Keep it up. I know this is not great to do, but whatever. Um, head on up here, too. Not bad. You guys are actually doing relatively okay here. Darn, I wish I could have gotten a war with them as well. That's okay, though. I want to save some fuel for now as well, just because we're going to need it against the Russians. Because I do want to use my navy eventually, too. Ah! Motherfuckers! If that's the case, I'm going to go back over here and grab some of this stuff first. We definitely could use that, too. Alright, so looking not too bad. Okay. Oh, the Italians are finally killing each other. Let's go ahead and do this, too. Alright, after a short campaign across marshes and urban centers of the Netherlands, we have managed to take down the Proud Nation. The Netherlands are now in our hands. We must now decide the future. Military occupation. Liberate... Oh, we can actually annex Limburg. Ooh. I mean, technically, I, we, we could really, really, really use uh, more territory, really. But expand Flanders. Um, I think I'll just do that one, though. Liberate them as a whole. I mean, why did they become a commune? Well, well they're syndicates anyway, so... It's fun. Oh! Ah, they did! Nice! That's actually really cool. The Dutch Revolution. Nice! Oh, wait. What? What? They have a peace out with them. Alright, those guys are going to kill each other. There we go. That's looking not too bad. And then... 1940s stuff. Yeah, we're going to need more fuel. We're going to need a lot more of this stuff, so... And you guys are going to take a while for this, which kind of sucks, but whatever. This looks really weird. The Fall of Rome, alright. Hold on for now, hold on for now. How much manpower do, do the Danes have? None, none. That's good to see. Any damage we do, they can't replace. This is what we love to see. Awesome, how's their superiority? Oh, let's do this one first. Um, submarine focus. I prefer cruiser focuses, so. Considering the question about small ships, we focus heavily on light and heavy cruisers. If you want to read about this one, please go ahead. But, I give you a bonus to destroy our sea myself. Nice. Um. I don't really have that much. I mean, this costs more fuel, too, but still. Thank you. And do we have any spare. anything else? Tactical bombers, maybe? <clears throat> Help him out a little bit if you can. Oh, and with some naval bombers here too, right? Oh, these are tactical bombers. Great. Spare tackies? Yes, please. I'm going to take you out. Go here. Well, if you could. You should technically should be able to get through there, but whatever. Their artillery, grab even um, this one. Sure, why not? How are we not winning here yet? I'm not understanding that. Alright, anyways, go to five more. For now, we need way more light tanks. We've got enough infantry for now, so. Oh, make it as sure, why not? There you go. It's not bad. Could cost more fuel, though, unfortunately. Alright. You know what? We could force the attack, probably. Force it. Force them to die. And with enough air XP, we're gonna keep going down this way, too. Yeah, they're slowly getting rid of their strength. And with some coffee here, too. The rest of the campaign or video should not go this poorly just because, uh, well, finding over waterways like this really sucks. And this is their last attempt, so. Even when we force the attack, we still can't attack and do well, huh? That sucks. But they're literally out of manpower, so I'm not really sure what they're trying to do. Oh, they're, mo they're, they're mobilizing. 
It's all right. Keep it going for now. Um, how long would it take to just a fight? Even though we do get one day thing. Wow, that takes forever. Oh, we actually broke over. Look at that. We actually broke over. Nice. No, don't, don't. You ding dongs. You actually won there. You actually force the attack. Come on, don't give it up. If I have to kill off my tank divisions, so be it. If they're going to be this pathetic. You will not lose here, I swear to God. I don't care how many tanks we lose. These are just Danes for the love of God. They're not that strong. 100,000 Danes, that's too many. That's not Actually, that's not enough. Go in here so they can't do anything else. And then focus up north. And then, okay, and... and NVM. The Oval Commando National Vox Marine will serve as the unified command of our naval forces. It consists of the Admiral Stav and direct links to other central commands. Very good. Oh, look at all this stuff. Nice. More naval XP. Cool. And you guys, are, you guys are not done. Go in. Everyone go in. Do not let up. They, As long as you don't let up, they do not get any more organization, which is good. They have a small little navy, too. Guys, do not give up. You're going to force the attack. They are really entrenched, and it's an urban center, but still. It doesn't matter. As long as they lose their organization, that's all that matters. And they're slowly losing it. Supposedly. Oh my god, stop it, stop. You have to keep attacking. Yeah, using 20 combat with light tanks is not good. 941. <laughs> Come on, kill off the divisions. What is this Let's go to the next one, maybe. See what happens. Come on, come on, come on. Force it again. Uh, we're not stopping the force attacks. Okay, so finally, another division has died. Finally, thank God. Um, come over here. We gotta get some better light tanks. Come on, get rid of that other divisions. They literally have almost like no organization left. Get some more fuel. That's good. Get some more rubber. And let's grab some extraction. Hey, they lost another division. That's good. And they're just going to keep losing divisions. This is one very costly way to do it. Oh, they're almost dead. That's alright. I don't really care. Goodbye. Another division's died. Uh, one of our divisions died, but whatever. You're not giving up. Denmark's literally got to die now. But, uh, bomber focus is nice and all, but we're going to do fighter focus. We'll favor fighters over bombers in our attempts to rebuild the Air Force. I just don't care. I really don't. About Denmark. Guys, you literally have three divisions to kill there. Just kill them off. That's not that bad. These guys are not that huge. They're literally just infantry, yeah. That's why we got to move to a medium tanks. That's so bad. Tobias, I am very disappointed in Tobias here. He could have done so much better. We're going in immediately. We're not We're not wasting time. Uh, Lithuania. Actually, do we have anything regarding uh, Sweden? Swiss? No? Yeah, we do have Sweden, yeah. What, Ruthenia? Yeah, these things are disappointing. So I don't, I don't know if I really want to use them anymore. Go all in. Swiss. What are they doing? Yeah, I think we will do the Swiss next. Denmark does not deserve freedom. After a short campaign across the numerous islands of Denmark and the capture of its capital, we've managed to take down the country. Copenhagen is now in our hands. The status of the Atlantic islands of Denmark is a particularly interesting case to deal with, but we'll have to, anyways, to decide on the future of Denmark. I'd rather have them under us, but whatever. Uh, we're propaganda. We're kind of okay. And they should be flipping over, right? Christian Christensen. Good job with your naming. Uh, the parents' naming system there. There you go. Wait, they flip back. The Dutch flip back. How do they do that? It's not very fair. Ah, good. Alright, up next. Uh, are, are either of you guys with these guys? No. That's fine with us. Cool.
There you go. And carriers. Pretty much ready to go. Because then we'll go to worth Switzerland next, maybe? Let's get some uh, roads here, too. That'd be good. Maybe we'll build some of that, too. Cool. We'll go to war with Lithuania, or release with Lithuania soon enough. <clears throat> cool. Let him go, let him go, let him go. They've lost 8,000. We've lost about 1,000. Not too much for us right now, but ground support versus naval support. I think I'll do ground support. Our air force would focus on supporting the ground forces in battle, which would be nice. Smash through the line. Smash, smash, smash. Lost about 2,600 versus... Well, that's pretty good. And they'll go up to war these guys next. And then S Switzerland. I don't really want to fight the Third International. I really don't want to. The kind of body communal, but that's for another time. And do you guys have logistics? I think we already do, right? Yeah, we do. That's nice. Two days left for Hunt and Destroy. And can we actually improve... Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. I won't do it anyways. Nice. And of course, going to war with Russia is going to be a massive thing because it's going to be the entire Entente. But that'll help out the third international a little bit too. So, and they've lost not enough guys. Quarter million is that it? Only quarter million. It's all right though. And now they've lost even more than a quarter million. Well, actually, how many? Almost a third of a million have died. Well, I get all the way to go, Mel. Jesus. You guys, kind of pathetic. Train. Uh, fuel refining, good. Get some more output. I mean, they really want to lose all their men, huh? So be it. Ah, thank you, White Ruthenia. Up here next. Uh, do we have. Oh, oh, what? 71. Why can't we only have 71? No wonder we're not doing that great. Major power, head of faction, partial mobilization. I, I kind of don't like this. I mean, maximum support divisions. How are we supposed to do anything then with what, our current country? That makes no sense. Net factories. Partial mobilization. 94, round it up. That's kind of dumb. That's actually really dumb. Uh, partial stuff there. These guys will do that very soon. Let's go ahead and do... Baltic State. And I kind of doubt we can raise this anymore. Once we go to war, those guys over here will do okay. All right, just keep an eye on this one. And yeah, keep going in, guys. They have up this 26 divisions. Good amount of manpower ish. Or no, casualty so far. 15,000 losses. That's not enough, not enough, not enough. We got Riga. Let's go. And okay, NLW. Over command of the National Luftwaffe will serve as a unified command of the Air Force. It consists of the General Stab Luftwaffe and direct links to other central commands. Great. And we'll liberate <clears throat> the communes of Lithuania very soon. Very, very soon. I want to get this war over with first, though. Keep going. Keep going. There is no stopping here. Ah, my factory's good. Um, Because we have to liberate some people, I'm just going to do this then. Thank you. Let's go to Raval. Come on, guys. Let's go. Duartat? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Guys, just go to Raval. Please, come on. I gotta release him. Lithuania's been brought under our leadership, and our troops occupy the area. We must not decide what to do with it. We got Raval. And there we go, too. The Dutch are very defiant. And fade with Ruthenium. After a short campaign across Belarus, we've managed to shatter the defenses of Minsk. Ruthenium is now in our hands. We must not now decide ah, what we should do with it. Uh, we'll do that one. Why not? 138 factories, and now we're going to go down to what? Oh, that's fine. That's not bad. Um, This is going to be really bad, though. Actually, you know what? Instead of these guys first, we'll smash through the Austrians as fast as possible first, maybe? Game, game, come on. It's so laggy. Kaiser Redux is so laggy sometimes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I selected the other guy. 
And it still does this. Crap. Jesus Christ. That's why I don't like Kaiser Redux. It gets insanely laggy. Ugh. So bad. So bad. Anyways. Um. Light takes. Thank you. And the fate of Latvia. Much of Latvia has been brought under control as our troops occupy the region. We must now decide what to do with it. There we go. More communes. Never enough communes. Excavation is nice. I'm going to improve this up if we possibly can, just because, uh... Actually, we can probably integrate these territories later on if we really lower their autonomy. But we're really going to need a lot of the stuff here, just because, you know... The war against Russia is going to be a little difficult, probably. Alright. All that stuff is coming along. Um... There you go. How strong are the Austrians in their empire? Now with Cuba, Galicia, Lodomeria, Hungary. It looks like Poland, but no, it's the Bohemians, which makes sense. Not that much manpower, but they're barely conscripted. These guys have quite a bit. They should be able to do okay here. Um, well, I guess it's time to go right on in. Fate of... Oh, wait, Estonia. I thought he did Estonia. Oh, he didn't make Latvia. Much of Estonia has been brought under control as their troops occupy the region. We must now decide what to do with it. Liberate them. Thank you. That'll be fine, and I think that's it for the focuses. Yeah, we feminized society, we abolish prisons. That's it. Alright. They attack us, we attack them. What's not to love? Yo, and. Oh, they. Uh, where's their armies? Divisions? Somewhere. Yep, t time to go to Vienna. I always wanted to go. And here we go now. Air-wise, we're doing probably okay-ish. Yeah, that's not too bad. Go and put some of this here first. <clears throat> That'll be nice. Keep flooding through. Flood, 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 flood. They're attacking us here. That's why I'm not attacking here yet. Or, actually, you know what? Our guys are doing okay. Well, our puppets are helping out, so that'll be okay. War propaganda. Oh, actually, yes. So this doesn't hurt us as much anymore. 64. Jesus Christ, why is it 64? That's so stupid. This, this limit, I mean, I understand why it's there, but it's just... It's so stupid. It's incredibly stupid. I understand why it's there, but... Ah. <laughs> why do you have to just screw us over like that? 20,000 loss. 18,000 versus 52,000. So that's not bad. Uh, you guys will probably do okay here, too. Just take them out faster. Come on. Once once these, one of these guys starts falling, then everyone else will start falling, too, so... It's by promoted, which is fine. Uh, do we actually have ships here doing anything? No, we don't. Hmm. Could use a little more fuel. 31,000 versus 37,000. Come on, guys. Keep going. Take bear note. Come on. Can you move? I, I seriously don't understand sometimes. The divisions, they just sit there. They just don't do anything. Like right now. Like, you just got Trieste. Why are you stopping? We're on, like, aggressive assault. It doesn't make any sense. We've lost 57,000. Come on, Oscar, just give it up. Why are divisions sucking so hard? They're 40 combat width with superior firepower. And we have air superiority. For the most part. For the most part. Uh, gonna need some more fuel as well. Uh, this one's okay. It's fine, just for its industry. Um, still trying to finish it up too, but still. Uh, let's go that one. Guys, just go in. There goes Bohemia, thank God. Kill every last Bohemian that you had there. We lost way too many guys so far in this battle. We lost a, a million manpower now. We will have to definitely go to a service by requirement soon. We have enough PP, that doesn't really matter. Ah, uh, don't tell me Hungary is a big player. No, just Austria. Just Austria. I mean, you could hardly tell that it's just Austria, but, you know, whatever. Guys, go in there. Take Vienna and they're done. They're literally done. Like, like, look at that. Just go in. Go in. Right, that's good to get done. Come back over here and do that because you can. 
Come on. Why is there only one division in here? Jesus Christ, why do you guys suck so much? The, the enemy's not, you know, inexperienced at all, but like, my goodness. Just take Vienna! Why is it so difficult to take Vienna? That's it, That's that should be it. There we go. I'm sorry guys, it's just like, I don't understand sometimes. You do all the right things, you still can't win. Doesn't make sense. That's looking a lot better. Even though now we got a massive board with these guys. That's alright. I'm going to immediately liberate them. Um, demobilize. Go screw yourself, game. No way. No way, man. Well, uh, who's these guys next? Maybe. And third international. Hmm. That's a lot of territory that's got to get covered. Oh, I think we'll do it like this one. You guys go right here. Go and train for now. Um, you guys defend right here. Well, none of this matters because I'm waiting for this thing to pop up. Oh, come on. Fate of Austria. Austria has been forced to capitulate, and our troops are patrolling the streets to Vienna to prevent a rebellion or anything that could cause further instability. However, some people have proposed that creating a local Austrian government would be more helpful. It's fine with us. Come on. And then it'll pop up with the other ones. So then we can actually make a front line for all these other guys down here. Probably. Or we'll just take it. I mean, I don't, I'm totally fine keeping all this stuff, so. Look at all the resistance getting higher and higher. Martial law. Thank goodness. All right, Croatia. The Croats are not taking their orders from us the way things should be. Now there's some resistance among them, but it, it will be crushed under heels. Nevertheless, perhaps it might do... It might do to grant the Croats some measure of autonomy. And the same thing with Hungary. The Hungarian nation has been completely defeated. Our forces are policing the streets of Budapest, and partisans are being detained all across the countryside. But should the state of affairs remain permanent? What should we do with the Hungarian lands? Minimal Hungarian state? I want a big Hungarian state. Helps minimize the lag. And a big anarchist commune like that should be pretty good. Look at that. Even in Slovakia. Fate of Bohemia. The ancient heartland of the Czechs has been con conquered by our victorious forces. The, the venerable gem of Moldau, Prague, is occupied by our troops who parade smartly across the Venceslas Square. Should we prop up a Czech government loyal to the designs of our own state or maintain a splendid military occupation? Czech state. And Trentino. We have decided to take control of the formerly Austrian, te Austrian territory of Trentino. We must decide what we do with it. The Austrians get it. Nice. And they'll all go switch colors. Oh, we still listen too. Bosnia. Hopefully. Yay! Yay! What about the Bos Bosnians? No? They don't get to say? Okay. Well, time to bully some Bosnians then. As well as, uh. That part of Italy. But hey, whatever. Um, you guys will do that. You guys will do that. But you also have to do this one too. If y'all want to train for now, that's fine. Mm, oh, why does it take so long to get this one? Slovenia. Uh, our troops have occupied a small region of Slovenia. We must not decide what to do with it. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to go and... We could liberate them, but no. Give it to them to sort of reduce lag. Bosnia. The divided state of Bosnia is now under occupation after the invasion of its territory. Our troops are parading Sarajevo. I must decide to do with it. Give it to uh, Croatia. Make them stronger. There you go. As long as they have it, they have it to course, that's fine with me. And fade to Galicia. After a short campaign across Galicia, we've managed to shatter the Galician defenses. Now Lviv or Lviv is in our hands. We must not decide to the future of Galicia. Liberate and friendly government. Give it to our socialist post allies. Absolutely. It's hard to see, but looking not too bad. Not too bad. Look at that. A lot of communes here in Central Europe. A lot, a lot of communes. All oh, right, not bad. Um, what's next? Forty-one. Uh, let's grab some of that too. We're gonna need a lot of this for the for the very near future. Um, you guys head on over here. We're going to definitely need to raise a conscription level. Oh my gosh, I hate these communes, man. Why can't we deploy in other allied communes? Why? Anything else? Um, honestly, we could do a lot of this stuff, but... Romania. I just want to go to war with Russia. 
do as fast as we possibly can, so. The faster we go, the, the, the more territory we can take initially, so. Um, light tanks can go up by five if you want to, that's fine for now. We have a lot of military factories now, 280. That's quite a bit, I'll be honest, that's quite a bit. I wish we could build more here, like, like actually really build more. Get some more fuel for now. And then, get some more dockers, because we probably honestly need some of that stuff. And we're probably going to need some more infrastructure here, too. It's not looking great. It just really is not. Some of the stuff I've already we've already built up, which looks really good, so. Austrian Littoral? We're taking control of the formerly Austrian territories in Istria and Gorizia Gradiska. Croatia. Well, that's not bad. Um, Istria. Littoral. 3S, of course. I'll give it Austria, that's fine. Nice. And Bukovina. That's, oh no, the small region of Bukovina is now under our control. We must decide to do with it. I don't like that. If there's no other option, why do we even get the option then? If there's no option, why do we get that? That that's very self-defeating. That's 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 not very cool, man. I don't like that. Uh, kill off the uh, Union of Eurasian Republics. There you go. Go straight on in, guys. See what you can do. They have two fifty divisions. That's a lot of guys. Two million manpower. That is a ton of dudes. And we got some better logistics just in time for us to go to war with the Russians. We have a lot of allies, which means a lot of lag. And get some more of that. Uh, let's go through this first. There you go. Go straight on in, take as much land as you possibly can before they can react. Sure, guys. That's fine with us. Go, go, go. You guys... Oh, my God. I I'll say this again in the future, but I gotta say it now. What? Just go. Just go. <laughs> Just go. I mean, what? Are you waiting for an invitation to invade? I'm waiting for these guys to do something, too, though. Um, what do we have here? Nothing here. That's fine. That's fine. Get some recon, too. Why not? All right. Um, medium tanks. That's fine for now. Ah, oh, they're attacking us here too, which sucks. Uh, yeah, that's why I don't really want to use light tanks too much, too often. I mean, they're going to do well down here. With all of Algiers. Um. So that's a case. I'm going to go ahead and deploy you guys early. And come to the tank divisions. Um, there you go, there you go, there you go. Bing bong. Yeah, this whole limiting thing, I want to get I should get rid of that next time. Just get rid of it. Like, I understand why it's there, but I, I hate it. I really do. Uh, can you guys actually do well here, maybe? Because that would be great, because we could swing down here, too. So just go ahead, go ahead. If they have any force, just beat them up. Beat the crap out of them. Nice. We're doing well against the Russians. I don't think they're really expecting us to invade or anything like that, but that's alright. We're doing kind of well against the Romanians, too, so... Cut them off, maybe, if you can, maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, we're gonna need more fuel, though. And a lot more rubber. Wow. Delivered zero. Alright, well, if you can't deliver anything, we're not gonna buy from you. Uh, PSA... Uh, White Ruthenia, yes. Yes. Anyone else here? No, not really. Okay. Um, well, if you trade across the ocean anyways, there you go. Do that too. Yeah, I don't think the Indians can really do too much. Not yet, but maybe eventually, but not yet. So, losses, 6,000 versus... Right? The Union of Britain and the Communist France, are doing, they're doing okay so far against these guys. We haven't done enough, enough damage to these guys, though, really. Not yet. They're still attacking us. Can you actually, can you actually win here? I kind of don't believe you, but... You know what? I'm going to let them do what they want to do. Oh, West Indies Union. How is the American Union state still alive? How is, how is America not even unified yet? This has got to be a glitch in the game. How have, how have the CSA not gone to war with the American Union state? Is it because the feds fell too early? It must have been that or something. It must have been. That literally makes no sense to me. Take Bucharest. Um, this let's go. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't do that one. Yeah, I guess it makes sense too, but still. Uh, close economy. Sure, why not? Now we gotta get some more rubber. Deutsch uh, Asian. Go down to half, maybe. The fall of Bucharest. Good, 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 good. Let's help against the war against the Serbs. Thirty thousand. 
We've done 57,000 casualties to the Eurasian Union, which is nice. Canada's still been calling the war. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to actually take out Canada. It's just it's kind of annoying to do so. Uh, the end goal here is just to take out uh, the you know Russians. Hey, Romania fell. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Going in, guys. Go, go, go. You're doing a great job. Great job. Board observers are nice. Let's grab some of this, too. We're doing okay against Serbia, too. Especially using tanks and mountains, which I never recommend doing because it's really bad, even though I'm doing it right now. But don't ask questions. Um, still a lot of manpower. A lot of fuel. Uh, Stockpile. Not really sure what they got. So, yeah. It is what it is, I guess. Get some more fuel if we can. Get some more rubber. So far, doing okay. Hello. Where'd you guys come from? Yeah, I need you guys to help out against the Serbian front right now first. Serbs gotta go, man. Serbs gotta go. Uh, sure, guys. I don't really care. Hey, but at least we made a lot of commune, too. That's kind of nice. They're running out of manpower. I mean, so are we, technically, but still. <clears throat> Alright, you guys. Oh, White Ruthenia. Oh, disappointing. It's alright, though. Uh, are we not to trade over the seas? I don't want to. Just saying. Oh, we're going to need a lot of fuel later on, too, though. Just because, uh... Well, we're going to have to use our navy. Yeah, no, guys. Get down here. Serbia, you cannot keep this up. They're out of manpower. They did just raise the conscription level, but still. <clears throat> Will it be enough for them to actually survive here? Because overall, on this front, we're doing okay. They definitely put a lot more divisions on the front now than where we started, so. Uh, you might want to hold out for now. You might just hang out. Just hang out. Just reform the line and attack where you think you'd be best. You should easily win here. Well, they're, they're really entrenched there, too. Good. Get ready to move in. Oh, come on. You piece of alabaster. Sure, guys. Oh, that's so dumb. Just kill these guys off. What the heck? Come on. Of course. Of course we don't have air superiority. Uh, this, this route, I don't know if I really recommend this route. This route is not great. Just because all the communes. I mean, I get it. It makes sense for what we're trying to achieve here, but it, it's just not with this with this thing here hurting us. We lost over 11% division organization. Consumer goods goes down, less factory output. That is just that's not fair. That's just not fair. <clears throat> Come on, Russia. You wanted to keep attacking us, then keep attacking us, then. Was it? Oh, yeah. There you go. Wow. I mean... Force defense. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really recommend this route just because that is so crippling. Uh, maybe not crippling, but it's really just damaging. You know what? What if I offered you guys military access? Um... No, they won't accept it. Why, why don't you accept that? That doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. I'll get some more ground support. Hey, there go the Serbs. Good. Get rid of the Serbs. Hold on for now. Hold on for now. Hold on for now. Are we at war with the Greeks, too? Don't tell me we're at war with... Oh, my God. Every game, they're always out with, the, with these guys. Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. Well, at least they're attacking us. At least that's a good thing. And we're actually holding on to the Crimea well enough. Guys. Um, for you guys, supplies are really bad through here. I wish infantry would move a little bit faster, but whatever. Um, I'm not really sure what's in here. Maybe Crimea. The Crimea region. Because I need this infantry army in the east. We really need in the east. How strong are these guys? We will need to raise conscription level soon. They're not that strong. Um, this stuff is okay. We'll see in a couple minutes. There you go. 
Yeah, I don't know if you guys can actually do anything there. So you guys hold, because you kind of suck. Uh, grab that too, grab that, very good. And grab that too. Well, at least their casualties are generally rising, generally rising. Yeah, I don't like how, well, just for this campaign, the Russians joined the Entente. That just, that, doesn't, that does not make anything easier. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely does not. Mm. Alright, if you want to attack, I mean, you're right to attack, but it's your right to die here too. Seriously, how are we losing? Air superiority, that's what it is. And they have a decryption advantage? How? Oh my goodness. I might just have to end the campaign here then. Just because I definitely don't feel like doing that. Come on, and then go there. <clears throat> it's only one division, but whatever. Come on. Recon's nice. Ooh, it is 42. Grab some of that, too. Alright, you want to attack? Oh. 1.2 million. There's nothing else we can really add here that'll make any sort of a difference. Uh, We could raise it up, but that won't even really do much for us. At least in terms of war economy, total mobilization. Ah, screw it, we're going total mobilization. I never do this. But we need to get rid of this stupid cap. Just absolutely stupid. It doesn't even help us out that much anyways. Alright, so because we're demobilizing, now we gotta go to here. Kill this guy off. Alright, well, these guys... Uh, That's why I don't like having puppets here that much. Look at that. They're just wasting... Well, they're lagging the game harder. And they're not doing anything on the fronts. I mean... What's the point of having them then? Let them actually let these guys come in. Let them come in. So this way we can go in and then get, drive into the Crimea a little bit easier. Oh my God! There you go. Surround them, and then you should be able to punch a hole through them. So, uh, it's definitely a mess. Just a giant mess. You guys go right on him. You ain't stop until you get down there. You're gonna force the attack. Go, 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 go. Alright, yeah, this is stupid. I mean, just look at all that. Wasted manpower, wasted equipment. Ugh, not good. I apologize if I'm a bit ranty. Just, there's just some things in the game or the mod I just don't like. I just seriously just do not like. And also, just get over there. Go, 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 go. Break over as fast as you possibly can. I'll uh, get there too. Go, 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 go. Good, good, good. You're gonna hold right there, because you can. Go, 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 so festival will be ours. And we will flood through here like crazy. If possible. We haven't lost a division yet, that's good. Go, go, go. I tell you to go and you don't listen. That's just a Hawaii 4 thing in general. It's a militia div division for the other guy. Just kill it off. Ah, good. Grab some of this too. Better guns, nice. They're not doing anything over there. What is the 3rd International doing? I see what they're doing. Well, at least Iberia, I see what they're doing. Yeah, kill off the French state. Because... Can I can I invite you in, please? Please. Do something. Do something here, guys. For the love of God, please do something. You guys are looking pretty good right here. Obviously, that's not going to keep up forever. Red Knight killed over Russia. Uh, are they... Are they abandoning the line? I mean, if we can cut off St. Petersburg, that would be really good if we could cut off St. Petersburg everywhere else. If we take that, they're completely cut off. I mean, sure, they have a port here too, but still. Well. Don't let them move. You're not here to win. You're here to just keep them entrenched for now. There we go. All right. Well, then.
Um, well, let's get the shift out then. Why not? Oh, well, you're still training? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, you don't need to do that one. Oh, I don't want to. One, two, three, four. Stuff like that. There you go. You guys are still fighting down here. Ah, uh, this is actually not too bad. I'm actually okay with this one over here. Cut off the capital from everyone. Just oh, do we? Oh, we actually took it. Oh, that's not good. Moscow is now the capital, which is fine. Whatever. Uh, Finland is an ally, which we're trying to fight as well, which kind of sucks. Eh, they did too much there. Whatever. Hey, at least George is not at war with us. That's good to see as well. Are you really? Okay. Well, we can try that too. We've lost a lot of guys. They've lost quite a few guys as well. 600,000 we've killed off. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. I really wish we could get intelligence agency. Really wish we could. Social hierarchy. Um, they have a lot of divisions. They're actually out of guns. Look at that. They're actually out of guns. That's something I was not, I'm not expecting yet, but okay. Oh, we're getting invading. Oh, Greenland. Oh, who cares about Greenland then? Uh, three communists by the Danes or the Canadians. Ah, good. Sink. What do they got? Sink, 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 sink. I'd love to do a general attack, but I just don't think we can. You guys go there. You guys do that. You guys go. Uh, oh, don't do that one yet. I'd love to do a general attack, but we cannot. That is disappointing as all hell. Holy crap. That sucks. That really sucks. Hmm. I mean, these guys are doing great down here. They're kind of done for now, which is fine with me, just because, uh... Yeah, that's a lot of guys to take care of, so... But this is so disappointing. I hate the... I hate, sometimes, the puppet system in Hoi 4. It's just so bad. Uh, there's another comment, too. Someone recommends that we do the Polish Rebirth League routes to get Jesus as leader. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Sometime. Sometime. Uh, anything else here? Well, we kind of already got us up. Eh, I get that one. More land night attack. Why not? All right. So, we're just kind of hanging out first. Don't need to move. Uh, well. They've left less artillery for now, which is nice. If it's equipment is not good for them, maybe I should, maybe I should have thrown on some anti-air. It's all right, though. Uh, does anyone have upgrades yet? Oh, they're actually attacking us, maybe? No, yes? Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, oh boy. What happened? Oh. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, they're attacking us? Okay, well. Can we actually win here, maybe? Game. Game. I, you saw me clicking, and they just didn't do anything. Ground support integration. Let's grab some of that, too, because we can. All right. Well, Goodbye. Cool. All right, all right, all right. They're still attacking us. Oh, we're not doing well here, are we? I'm not going to force a defense here either, so. Move in if you can. Let them waste themselves on the line just a little bit more. I wish our allies could do more here. It's all right, though. If we have to lose here, that's fine. If we need to pull back, it is what it is. To more defensive positions. Yeah, I would not recommend this path unless you really know what you're doing, realistically. Um, the third international is kind of honestly really disappointing. They aren't able to do very much at all. Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about it. Let them suffer the consequences of their attacks. Five divisions there. I mean, they're 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 running out of equipment. Like, it's looking good for us, but not great so yet. Their mechanizers are looking very bad. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. Advanced fire bases. Grab some of that too. And can we throw any more planes on? That'd be really good for us. Yes, we can. Awesome. Um, there you go. Throw them right there. And anything else for planes or naval bombers are okay. Don't really need them too much. Uh, any more bombers? Why not? What happened here? We lost a convoy. This kind of sucks. I thought we put planes or our ships should be doing stuff over there, but they're not. Sounds like we've got to fire somebody now. Uh, good, good, good. Do that too, because you can. No spare 
fighters, which kind of sucks. Seriously, what are our ships doing? Um, okay, destroy it. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, they're doing like nothing here. Can you guys actually win there, maybe? Yes, no, maybe so. I'd love to try general attack, but I don't think it's going to go very well. Oh, look at that. Finally, something else happened. That's good. Some Canadians go bye-bye. Some Russians go bye-bye. You know, you press S, and it doesn't do anything. Good, good, good. Royal Constitution. Still no equipment. Ah, let's push him over the river. Yekaterinoslav. That'll be good to get rid of. Get take. Come on, take him, take him, take him, take him, take him. Because now we're going to attack here too. Because they're going to be attacking as well, which is fine with us. Another industrial setup, please. Thank you very much. You want to attack us? Okay then, so be it. The choice is yours. Ah, the tanks can't do anything to us. Oh, you want to attack us there? Okay, well, there you go. Pounds of house 30. Nice. Grab that one. I don't care if it's ahead of time or not. Go here. Oh, uh oh. What happened here? Um, yeah, our, our ship suck. They can't kill anything. Um, there you go. Maybe. Maybe. Over the river kind of sucks, I know, but whatever. Any way we can damage them is what I want to do. Anything else? Yes, right here. Eh, since you're going anyways, might as well do that too. Uh, Von Lieb, infantry expert, good. How did you not win here? Pathetic. Pathetic soldiers, man. Oh, they're still attacking us here, look at that. <clears throat> uh, they're not attacking us here either. I actually might do something a little insane. Eh, it's not too insane. I'm going to cut you guys down. Not by very much, because I want to throw you guys in the eastern front. I want them to attack us here, so. That's why I'm going to weaken the line a little bit. Bait them into attacking us. Alright, so be it, so be it. You guys are doing okay. Go here. Alright. Nice. Ah, single mechanized. That's good, good, good to see. We like that. Um, anything else up here? Not really, no. Four divisions still here. That's not good. We can attack with six in total. Uh, you guys go here. Should easily have this. Yeah, don't worry about attacking, guys. Do not worry about attacking. You're here to be bait. Actually, get some radar. That actually might help us with defense and such. Get you one here. That's good. <clears throat> go right there. Take all the two. There you go. Nice. Should be able to win without too many difficulties. Really, just destroy all the equipment if we possibly can. That'd be good. You guys are right here. Slowly plugging away at these guys. You should you should be able to win there easily. Like, I don't care if they have tanks or not. Uh, five divisions is quite a few. We don't want to do that one there. This one is going to be a little bit of an issue. Our guys are moving around the line a little bit too much for me. to don't really like it. Uh, I mean, it's better to encircle it realistically. But sometimes you just can't. Good, good, good. They're still attacking, which is not great. Attacking here is probably not a great idea, but we'll try it anyways, because we can. Seriously pathetic. Seriously pathetic, man. Really pathetic. They decrypted us. Well, come on, attack us then. A little bit more artillery. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. I, don't, I definitely don't want to do this again. <laughs> just get this, because this commune stuff is just, it's just not fair. It's just straight up not fair. If we have this many puppets, that should give you a higher cap for supported divisions. So, I'm not really sure what else to say about that. 100 divisions. You're only allowed 100 divisions. Despite us having like 45 different communes under us. Alright, go right there. And you're not going to win, are you? How do you lose your organization so much? Sure, they've broken it, Cyphers, but we have air superiority here. 
Help out, help out. Go in. Yeah, these guys suck. The yeah, our divisions are garbage. Straight up garbage. <sighs> and Third International is doing nothing. Like, how about you invade Canada? How about you invade anywhere else? Literally, across the world. The Entente is just too big. It's way too big. Hmm. Because I don't want to spend any more time. I'll be honest. Like, at the time of this recording, I don't want to spend any more time doing this. I really don't. This is stupid. This is really stupid. The game is just not geared towards... <laughs> I guess war for <laughs> anarchist communes. But, you know, whatever. Um... I just spent. I'm going to spend time off screen doing this. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, everyone. So, happy 1944, March 2nd. In which, well, this is what we've ended up with so far. It's kind of. It's actually really kind of disgusting to be honest with you, but it does help to win the wars if you have air superiority. And we've got. We've got a lot of planes in the air. It's just casually 7,000 fighters in the air. But uh, let's see. They've taken. We've lost actually almost two million, roughly two million. While the Russians have lost about a little over eight million. They're 99% of the way there. And actually, I took a bunch of Hungarian divisions, or, you know, anarchist commune divisions, but hey, whatever. Um, really, I just want to capitulate them at this point, like, this has gotten a bit ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't know. With the Eurasian Union and joining the Entente, it does help them out quite a bit, but, I don't know. I, I would have liked to have seen the Third International doing something. You know, they just mostly sat there, the entire, for the most part, and slowly grinding out through things. I like to play as China sometime, though, but, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't like the anarchist unions just because the maximum supported divisions should be influenced by the amount of puppets you have at least in my opinion I mean this is kind of ridiculous but you know it is what it is I guess um anything else really around here not really no I mean oh I guess we lost a division I've lost a couple divisions here with their tanks and mechanized but you know whatever um since this is the end of the campaign anyways but I don't know did I have a lot of fun eh I had some fun I had fun until we broke apart like I wish you could just kind of not break apart first. I mean, maybe in the end, you'll become anarchist communes, but, like, right now, it wasn't really that great to become communes right now. But, oh, are they capitulating, or is that the end? Oh, yeah, they've done it. I think that's going to be the end of the campaign here for me, just because it's been quite the struggle. But, hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.